Um, good morning, uh, everybody. Representatives of the ministries of health, Chad, South Sudan, and Guinea. Representatives from Gavi, UNICEF, Safe Children, Malaria Consortium, John Hopkins, and I and IFAC. Um, of course, the organizers of Merrick's Foundation. Dear colleagues, ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of the federal government of Somalia, I would like to thank the opportunity to participate with other countries on introduction of PCV and rota vaccine. Firstly, let me acknowledge the tremendous, the tremend let, uh, first let me acknowledge tremendous uh, potential that PCV holds on safeguarding the health and well-being of the Somali children. The pneumococcal vaccine targets the bacterium responsible for severe respiratory infections, such as pneumonia, meningitis, and sepsis. Somalia has one of the highest under five mortality rates in the world at 112 under five deaths per 1,000 life births. 21% of these under five mortalities are due to pneumonia, making it the single biggest killer of Somali children. The herial diseases attributed to rotavirus also contributes sig significantly to the under five mortalities to our country. By immunizing our population against these pathogens, we can reduce the burden of the diseases and improve the overall health outcome. In addition to BCV and rotavirus, and rota, and, and rotavirus our country also intends to introduce measles probella vaccine next year, which targets the two diseases that also plague our, our, our communities. In May this year, we have also introduced, we have also introduced the novel OBV vaccine to mitigate the risk of circulating uh, vaccine driving polio. Ladies and gentlemen, the benefits of vaccines extend far beyond the individual health. They contribute the broader public health landscape by reducing the transmission of diseases, protecting vulnerable populations, minimizing the strain on the healthcare system. By investing prevention through vaccination, we can alleviate the economic burden associated with these, associated with treating these illnesses and redirect resources towards the, towards other pressing healthcare needs. However, we must also acknowledge the challenges that lay ahead. Somalia, like many other countries, faces unique circumstances that can impact a successful implementation of the vaccine program. These challenges include a limited health system capacity, particularly in adequate number of human resources, finances, and infrastructure. Other challenges are shared by the growing number of countries in Africa is security, geographical, and logistic barriers that hinder the access to inaccessible and remote and underserved communities. To overcome this, we have developed an integrated and innovative surface delivery strategies, such as mobile vaccination teams, community outreach programs, jointly led by Ministry of Health and community leaders to ensure that every child accesses these life-saving vaccines. Misinformation and misconceptions surrounding vaccines and spreading through the social media have led the decline 
on immunization rates in some areas, especially post-COVID pandemic. Somalia is not an exception. Nearly 68% of households in Somalia possess at least one smartphone. It is therefore crucial that we address the growing infodynamic phenomena through effective communication, community engagement, and education campaigns by dispelling myths, providing accurate information, and building trust. We can empower individuals and communities to make informed decisions about their health. Furthermore, we must also address the issue of vaccine affordability and sustainability. While these vaccines bring undeniable benefits, their, their cost can be a, bar a barrier to a widespread availability. Ladies and gentlemen, in collaboration with the international partners, investment in local manufacturing capabilities in Africa, advocacy for equitable pricing are crucial steps towards ensuring long-term access to these vaccines for all Somalis. We have a valuable lesson during COVID-19 pandemic where the African continent was literally denied access to COVID-19 vaccines and other tools such as diagnostic, testing, personal uh, protective equipments and, fac and vaccines. Finally, I would like to under underline that the introduction of PZV, Prota and measles rubella vaccine is an integral part of our essential package of health services in Somalia and presents an incredible opportunity to protect our population from preventable diseases and improve the overall health outcomes. While challenges may arise, we must remain steadfast in our commitment to overcome them by working together, investing in healthcare infrastructure and prioritizing vaccine programs, we can create healthier and more resilient Somalia for generations to come. Thank you very much.